Pronominal suffixes on hyphial hollow verbs. This is a short module, single slide module, looking at pronominal suffixes on hyphial hollow verbs. We looked at pronominal suffixes on cal hollow verbs, and we see much the same behavior with hyphials. What we see is proprietonic reduction to simple or compound shiva, and this is exactly what we saw with, uh, with cal hollow verbs as well. So if you add a pronominal suffix, let's do it to a perfect here. So hey meet, this is a perfect hyphial, plus am, the 3MP ending. Hey meet plus am is hemitam. So the tsere has reduced to a hataf segol, so a compound shiva. He killed them. If we add a pronominal suffix to an imperfect, like yamit, and we add enu, now remember enu can be either 3ms, him, or 1cp, us. It's an ambiguous form. Um, yamit plus enu is yemitenu. I should have a u here. U at the end here. This goes up here. Dropped off. Um, so here are comets, which is the prefix vowel that we have for the imperfect, reduces to a shiva. So here, tsere, the prefix vowel we have for the perfect, remember, the hyphial hollows have tsere, at least in the third person. If you go into the second person switch, you have the the khataf uh, patah of the Japanese verb, the hakimoti or whatever. Let me get rid of that, so not to confuse things. But in the third person, you have tsere for the hyphial, and that reduces to a khataf segol, or a compound shiva. Kamets, which marks uh, hollow verbs is what we have for the imperfect in the hyphial, and it reduces to a vocal shiva. So for both cal and hyphial verbs, if you add pronominal suffixes to cal and hyphial hollow verbs, you get this pro proprietonic reduction where the theme vowel, sorry, the, the prefix vowel will reduce.